Hello and welcome to my awesome health journey. I'm Brett Dupree and today I'm going to talk about my stupid brain. Uh, I'm wearing my Spider-Man glasses. These are for Eye Strain by Gunna. Look how cool they look. Don't I look cute? Yes, I call this my stupid brain. Why? Because my brain is a rebel. It does not like being told what to do. I don't like being told what to do. I... You know, thought about psychoanalyzing myself by the fact that I was raised early on with not a lot of freedom and then almost all the freedoms that I want. And that just created a situation where I didn't like being told what to do by anybody. Even though you think with someone that rebellious I'd get in trouble more and act out more, but that's not the type of person I am or the type of person kid I was. I prided myself as being a good kid, but... I didn't feel like I had to be told what to do to be good most of the time. I learned by my actions. When I got good reactions, I liked that. When I got bad reactions, I didn't like it. Plus, I had social anxiety. It's like getting in trouble is not good. But anyway, the reason why I talk about this is the fact... Oh, you can see my um, ring light in my glasses. How cool is that? Look at my eyes. Ooh. I have a magic left eye. Or is it like, it's a right eye because everything... Anyway... Where was I? Oh yeah, uh, my stupid brain being a being a rebel. For you see, when I feel bad about something, especially if that thing is something I want to do or something negative, that's the first thing I want to do. I, there's a saying that a lot of fat people like myself 100% believe that if shame kept people got people thin there would be no fat people uh because you know shaming doesn't work and i can tell you for a fact shaming doesn't work on me because i've shamed myself being fat for all my life and look at me but that's because every time i feel bad about being fat the first thing i want to do to make myself feel better is eat food in fact that's one thing i enjoy about intuitive eating which was this idea of every time I would get one of those cravings or feel fat and just want to eat something. I would tell myself of what a huge piece of crap I was, shame the heck out of myself, and then eat it anyway. Feel the, um, hate the crap out of myself for doing that. Sink, tell myself how weak I am and then eat more and continue that cycle until I could stop. And then, you know, I just continually to gain weight. But that goes with almost every other aspect of my life. Every time I feel broke, I have I just want to spend money. And then I spend money. And then I feel more broke, which makes me want to spend more money. And it creates a cycle of pain and destruction. It's like a self-sabotage thing, if you will. In fact, it might be the definition of uh, self-sabotage. So what I've learned in my life, by my life, especially the last two uh, excuse me, two years since I've done intuitive eating has uh, really forced me to look at my habits and work with them rather than against them. And I noticed that has worked on my budgeting. In fact, I made a like a budgeting decision this week of every time I overspend to instead of taking that out of my budget for the next month to make it a goal to not spend that much money the next month so I can use that to catch up on that debt that I accumulated from spending too much. And having that little switch in my brain of instead of feeling poorer, I would feel more responsible. Even though my the outcome is the same, but like what it looks like on the balance sheet is more. And it makes me don't feel like I'm in a crunch. Because when I'm in a crunch, that's when I want to do something. And that's going to be good for my eating as well. Because one thing I do like spending my money on is food. So I guess I'm talking about is, you know, this is like a how you do anything is how you do everything. I know that's not 100%, but a lot of, lot of habits are perpetual, like, and goes in different aspects of one's life. And I'm noticing that more and more in the mind. And just to make sure I'm in a situation where I don't feel bad to make me not do the thing because it's like something, of course, I want to switch that in my brain and do something different. But I've tried many things, NLP, hypnosis, um, 
other modalities, meditations to flip that off. So, because it's not the most helpful thing, but at the same time, I haven't been able to do it. But the last couple of years of intuitive eating, I have learned if I just allow it and just recognize that's a part of my brain, it doesn't have to be a problem, right? It's just like accepting certain aspects of myself and accepting me for who I am. Sure, I can still work on that in other sessions, maybe do more hypnosis or whatever. Um, maybe one of my psyche things will finally s switch that. I don't know. Um, but I do know that if I am fine with it, which I guess psyche helps with that as well, I am able to work with it. And maybe one day I can break that switch in my brain that causes me to want to do the thing that I feel bad that I don't want to do. I think that's the right, right to say it. But as long as it's still there, I just have to realize I need to work with it and be the best self that I can be with it. Yeah. I guess that's all, I, that's all I'm trying to say is accept me for who I am and for how I feel and then to steer myself in the direction that I want to go and make better choices more than I make unhealthy choices and they make me feel good about them. I guess I'll end it there. My beard is getting very beardy, don't you think? I can I can now stroke it in a way that makes me look like I'm thinking. Dear God. <laughs> Anyways, I love you for who you are. Thank you for supporting me. I truly appreciate you. And as I'm going to end every one of this, I truly believe this from the bottom of my heart, you are worthy.